<laughs> and welcome back to some more Pokemon White 2. Are you excited? I'm eating a steak. <laughs> it's been like, uh, I think it's been, uh, sick, uh, like a week since we last played this version. <laughs> I think so. It's been yeah, a while. It said, uh, when I was loading up the save file, it said uh, March, March 29th. And today's what, April? Fourth? Third. 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 Yeah, so it's, it's roughly been a week. But I still remember everything that happened. <laughs> Included but not limited to us beating up Berg, us beating up Colrez, us doing the Route 4 stuff, and then us going to the desert resort. <laughs> and then lots of barking. And lots of barking. <laughs> Maggie is very lively. <laughs> but they're our little babies. Everyone's still good. Unlike a certain other doggo that we know. Anywho. <laughs> you do know Black 2 was posted after White 2. <laughs> Alright. There it is. Hmm. What should I do? I can't possibly manage everything. Yeah, as the businessman says with a steak in his slap. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. General Kenobi. Welcome to Join Avenue. We don't have anything yet, as you can see. So it's just an avenue at this point. No join. Yeah, you oh. can't join it. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. I am the owner of Join Avenue. He doesn't have a name. Yeah. My dream is to go around the world. What? I was just going to leave it out and join. My dream is to go around the world. <laughs> okay. The problem is, I have no one I can trust to manage the avenue. Something just struck me. Why'd this woman beside me strike me? <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be a trainer traveling around, aren't you? You naturally meet people from all over this region, don't you? I know it seems sudden, but will you manage the avenue for me? Oh, fuck yeah, I want to. Thank you so much. Okay, tell me what kind of person you are. What kind of bitch? What would be your favorite phrase that you'd use to greet everyone? Warning. The words that you're about to enter may be sent to other players. Please consider them carefully before you register them. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Will it let me put the word fuck? <laughs> Here, I'll just go like that, and then... Careful. <laughs> and then... Everyone in the world can hear this. Yeah! <laughs> That's a great line! <laughs> then what would you say when something truly moves your heart? You want to choose something universal, a phrase that anyone will understand, you know? Warning! The word you're about to enter may be sent to other players. Please consider them carefully before you enter them. Fuck you. What do we put for it? We can't put fuck you again! <laughs> but to impress. Hmm. We can't fit Skibbity Toil on here. Oh shit! Or or or. Are you really gonna do er space er? <laughs> yeah. Er er er. Oh my god, is it the fruity fast bear? Or or or. Fuck you, er er er. <laughs> I knew it. You are the one. <laughs> Who else can be? Oh gosh, I'm choking my stick. Careful. Who else could be so well suited to managing the avenue? I didn't know when I was getting this role that this dude would speak forever. I'm hungry. <laughs> Sir, it's about time for your next appointment. Fuck you, er, er, er. <laughs> My assistants. We heard me. I must now leave. So, please support our newest manager. Yes, sir. Please take care of yourself. Bye, businessman with the, with the briefcase. That's where he's holding a steak right now. <laughs> please to meet you. How would we address you? Overlord. <laughs> oh, that's really good. <laughs> you know, I was just making like lore for my little Phoenix character in the in like the Hazen Hotel universe. Cause uh Leslie uh, was nice enough to make like my very own like my very own Sin Sona <laughs> in, in the universe. <laughs> and I am an overlord. <laughs> Overlord, now that you are one, now that you are the one to manage the development of the avenue, please turn it into the wonderful attraction that many people visit. 
I'll explain how to develop the avenue, so please talk to me when you're ready. All right, I'm trying to do this. Well, you know, I want to say that that's what I was thinking of when I said Overlord. I was thinking of the anime Overlord. Oh. <laughs> what, like the solo leveling thing, or? No, there's an anime called Overlord. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> to make it more attractive, we want useful city improvements. For example, shops. In order for you to make a shop, you need someone who has a dream. You can then have... That's going to be hard to find. Exactly, <laughs> this economy. <laughs> and then you can invite that person to join the avenue. So you get an invitation, someone is coming this way. Why don't you invite that person? Oh shit, oh shit. Amazing. Is this a new avenue? It doesn't look like anyone has built a shop here. Maybe I can make my dream come true here. <laughs> Alright. Make my dream come true in this avenue. I want to make everyone excited. Oh, is it the raffle? <gasps> we can get a raffle! <laughs> I love gambling. Yeah! No, it's free. You only yeah, get to spend yeah, it's my favorite day. type of gambling. Yeah. Free gambling. Oh, you had a knife in your hand. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations! You just made your first shop. But, but, but having a shop is nothing if you don't have any customers. You need, a, you need to talk to a customer and recommend the shop. Speaking of recommendation, someone's coming this way! Why don't you recommend our shop? Okay, uh, small child, would you like to gamble? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I love gambling! Oh, why don't you go over to Dream Jandis over here? <laughs> yeah, I love gambling at Dream Jandis! Oh fuck, I lost! <laughs> Amazing! Fine! Dream Jandis, what a wonderful place! Venus was really happy, and the store went up by 40 points. <laughs> the Joint Avenue went up by 40 points. Congratulations! You just recommend the shop and made the popularity of the avenue go up. Raise the popularity of the shops and the avenue will to make it famous. A good tip for bringing more customers is to use the communication features. Oh my god, we can't do any of that. <laughs> what, what you could do is if you communicate with someone and like trade Pokemon, their little avatar will appear in the joint avenue and you can either like make them shop here or put them in here for running a shop. We can turn them into our slaves? That is not it. <laughs> You can turn the sea transceiver to attract lots of nearby uh, passer buyers. You can also try the communication facility, such as the Union Room in the Global Terminal. Overlord will be serving as your associates in this as your wait assistants in this room over here. Please come visit us. Maybe you'll excuse us. All right, bye. We won't be able to do much with this because uh, you're supposed to go once a day and visit. But let's go ahead and gamble. Alright, enter raffle. Let's see what we get. A master ball. A berry juice. You can give that to a Shuckle. <laughs> Shuckle is in this game. Yeah, because I mean, you know, sometimes when you catch him, he has a berry juice on yeah. him. Yeah. He's very thirsty. I love Shuckle. <laughs> pet, pet. Shuckle's one of my favorite Pokemon. Because he's, he's a little turtle. Oh, it's winter now! It's been winter. No, without them, this one, because we haven't played in a little bit. Oh, that's right. Yeah. All right, this is gonna look a little different. Oh, <gasps> yo, it's Edward. <laughs> no, it's it's not it's not Edward. This is uh. Did we did we just name him Hugh in this one? No, that's not Hugh. That's the uh, the guy. Oh, it, that's right. I forgot you actually see him in this. Yeah, game. you have to see your opposite gender's uh trainer, just like this one-off little thing. Yeah. I heard that in Gear Station you can have Pokemon battles in the subway. So I came here to test my skills, and what do you know? The subway bosses were here. Isn't that amazing? I mean, they're the strongest trainers in Gear Station. And they said they'd battle if it's two on two. It's an amazing opportunity. Would you battle with me? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Thanks! Oh, the name's Nate. Like... Pokemon <laughs> fan synergy can create a combination that's better than perfect. <laughs> Nate rhymes with Tate. <laughs> Andrew Tate. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of, like, the taint. <laughs> My uh, bad. <laughs> I was thinking of, uh, him smoking a cigar and... Telling you that books are useless. <laughs> and being misogynistic. <laughs> I've never read before in my life, books- reading books is a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, it says the shirtless man holding a cigar <laughs> with sunglasses inside. <laughs> I always have a machete when I see my bed. <laughs> So I got five machetes. <laughs> so I'll have, I'll have you help me battle the subway bosses then. Oh look, it's Indigo. 
He remember him in Legend Arceus? Yeah, he's like, I know, I know, no had memory. Yeah, but I remember these cool train poses. <laughs> yeah. Having a battle in a place like this is a little irregular, but it must happen for a reason. Battling in a different place will let me see different scenery, and I might learn something too. Now, Emmett, do you have something to add, please? Go your up. <laughs> Follow the rules and drive safely. <laughs> We're headed for victory, all aboard! I love the train puns, even though, it, like, when he does it in the... I, I find it funny that if you've never played, like, this game, like, the sequel game in this, and you only played the first one, you had no idea who Indigo is unless you went in the train station. So when lunch is RC, we just have this random guy show up and just start making train references. <laughs> even though there's no trains in that, like, area. And you're like, what the fuck is a train? <laughs> I don't know, man. Seems scary. Yeah. Oh. oh. I'm gonna just take Maggie out. Oh, shit. I just fucking keep, keep, keep Maggie in. It's okay, this isn't that Nuzlocke. Yeah. We'd probably do a lot better with our encounters in, in, in the, if we, this was a Nuzlocke. <laughs> Look at that! That was very loud. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I turned up for the Joy Avenue music and then forgot to turn it down. <laughs> so we just hurt my ears. Also, I forget that like when you wear a headset, it um it duels it. So I'm hearing all the stuff that's happening to the boulder on this side. But like barely hear anything that happens on our side through this here. Because <laughs> it does like the, the dual thing. So I'm hearing like nothing. So sometimes I'll hear it like fade in and then like kinda like fade out. Because it's supposed to go to the other ear. <laughs> Oopsies. I'm Emmett. I lost together with Ingo. Your combination is the best perfect. You're very strong trainers. <laughs> Super Oh my goodness, if we find a Pokemon that, that's perfect for Frank, we gotta do it. <laughs> Bravo! The combination of you and your Pokemon are truly fantastic! I am Emmett. <laughs> While I may have lost to you, I had a good time. Let's play again sometime. Yes, definitely. Next time, please ride the subway and battle us there. Well then, we're off! All aboard! <laughs> Damn, it's cringe. That was weird. That's suspicious. They were tough, even when they weren't going all out. That's the subway bosses for you. I don't want to get even stronger at battle of subway bosses when they're giving it their all. Thanks, Phoenix. This is a token of my appreciation. Here. Oh, so we can see how dog shit we do in the fight. So yeah, after the fact. When you have the versus recorder, you can record your battles with your friends or battles on this battle subway. Phoenix, I had a really great time battling with you. I hope we can battle together again sometime. See ya! And we never oh. see him again. Really? Oh, that's sad. Wait, I gotta go get my thing. Where is it? Move, bitch! Move, bitch! <laughs> Alright, let me register this place real quick, just in case we die. But welcome to Nambasa City! There's a lot to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back streets, you know? Some may say this is a very shocking place to be. Oh, because it's a gym leader! No, because... Thunderstone. Alright. <laughs> you get to hold it now. I'm gonna see if we can get an Amolga in this area. When's the earliest we can get- Oh my- Jesus Christ! <laughs> it lagged so hard there. Emolga... Evolution? And it's just like none. <laughs> it's a sky squirrel. Bulbapedia, please. Be careful running around. I don't have to be careful in this version. <laughs> yeah! Fuck it! Oh, the, the, no way, I don't have to speak. This is you. You're going, hey. <laughs> hey. Nice oh. timing. I was wanting to give you this. <gasps> oh, we got fly. We can get one on route fly. Well, <laughs> route fly? Ta-da. <laughs> it's a hidden machine. Fly. 
When you use this move outside of battle, you can go to places you want to go, like a Pokemon Center. By the way, Phoenix, do you know about Hidden Grottos? Yeah. Great, you might find one soon. Wait, is that what I fucking think it is? Over there, I heard something from that direction. I have good ears, hey, come with me. <laughs> Wait, wasn't her voice actually like that? Yo, man, what's up? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, I know you keep fucking changing everyone's voice constantly. Well, what do you mean? I keep changing. You're the one that said she had the deep voice. Well, I was like, hey, I remember you're that. The, you're the YouTuber. You're the one supposed to be keeping track of this stuff. I'm just the. I'm. I just tag along. Oh my goodness! When I brought you on the series, I'm like, oh yeah, you can voice Bianca if you want. And then you're like, okay, I can do a perfect female accent. Er. <laughs> and that's her voice ever since. All right. Here, her throat was just hurting. <clears throat> Sounds coming from somewhere over here. Oh shit! The pile wow, of grass. Wow, is. There's a gap, and it looks like we can fit through. Come on, let's have a look. Wow, you found a narrow path. Want to follow it? What if I said no? What is it like a Minchino at the end of here or something? <laughs> Did you see Minchino? Hey, Pokemon! Pokemon that hides in a place like this might be pretty amazing. Amazing, this is a huge discovery, an incredible find. I'll go check a lot of other trees, see if there are more hidden grottos. Later, bitch. Good luck with that dirt mouse. Hi, Minchino. Bye-bye. Bye. We can get an Emolga. We can get our fourth party Pokemon. What, which route? This route. Alright, watch watch how skilled I am. You got a shaking grass. Oh. Well, you didn't like know Emolgas were for shaking grass? Or did you, like, forget? <laughs> no, I just didn't know. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I've seen one from Shaking Grass before, but I thought it was just, like, a common Pokemon. No, it's it's solely through, uh, Shaking Grass. Careful, you're gonna run into Audinos before you're gonna run into Molga. Oh, good. <gasps> oh, oh, right there. Oh, should we just get a first try? Fuck! Hey, look, Law made an appearance! <laughs> you disgust me. Hey, I wish we could beat the shit out of it for good XP. Yeah, we use Takedown and then you use Kill Pulse on us. Yeah, they do that later on when they're like, uh, like high level, um, I don't know, they'll have heal pulls. So after you beat the shadow, then they're like, and like they kill you, and you're like, thank you, and then you just punch him again. <laughs> oh, you edging that grass right now. Oh, uh, uh. Dude, you're doing so well. <gasps> oh, wait. Oh, wait, that was you touching grass. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> I know I don't do that often, but come on. <laughs> Damn it, you touching the grass keeps throwing me off. <gasps> wait, wait, actually. What's the percentage of getting no more? It's probably like 10%. <laughs> Let me look. Pokemon. Okay, that's black and white. Okay, here's the second game. Shrustling Grass. Don't put me to sleep, please. I don't know. I hate this game. <laughs> I don't know. 85%. Chinchino, 5%. Emolga, 10%. And I'll always be level 22. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yo, she's trying her best right now. Stop being mean to Maggie. Dang, I knew I should've used Tick down there, but I thought I might get a high roll. Never trust yourself or yourself self. Well, you have your phone now, could you what's the what's the level cap of this gym? I don't mm. wanna I don't wanna get too far. Oh yeah, that's right. I think it's 30, but let me check. Also, since we're encountering a ton of freaking Amolgas, I'm, or a ton of Autonos, I'm just gonna put Pig Knight in front. Yeah, I don't blame you. Nimbasa City Gym. 
All right. Oh wait, I hear it. It's another odd note. <gasps> there he is! Oh, what it was? It was a boy. All right, let me see. Uh, in game, please. <laughs> Not the spin off. You think I could tackle it? Yeah. Yeah, I think. You might get static though. That's fine. There it's it's spamming double team. <laughs> That's challenge mode. We ain't doing challenge mode. We're doing bitch mode. Wait. I know it's the second Why are there two different... Oh, is one of these, like, easy mode? Let's go, okay. Normal mode. It's... Ace is level 30. Okay. And it has an Amolga, it has Flaffy, and it has Zepstrika. Look at the little squirrel! <laughs> it glides from the outreach and... You wanna try it again? It glides on, on its outstretched end brain while shocking foes with the electricity stored in the pouches of its cheek. AKA another Pikachu clone. <laughs> but it can fly. Alright, yeah, what are we naming it? I don't know. I didn't really have really good I don't make good names for these Pokemon anymore, like their element and then this thing ends up being named like static. <laughs> Alright, here. I got a name. What are you? So I'm watching I'm watching Lucifer yeah. right now. And you're gonna name And they had they had a squirrel in this one episode <laughs> that they named Leo. Uh, it was Roadkill. <laughs> but it it helped the, it helped them like solve a crime. What? So you're naming her a mocha after a dead road? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, check the stats on it. Alright, Oh, it's holding something. That's probably a berry. Cherry berry? Yep. Oh, paralysis. I find that really funny. Calm nature. Let's go. Alright, Spark. Pursue, double team, and shockwave. And it does plus special defense minus attack. Sorry. Actually, that's, that's pretty good. We get higher def like special defense. And, I mean, I don't think Amolga is a physical attacker. Well, like... Most flying moves Wait, wait, are. fuck, I didn't look at the, the ability, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's static. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Spark, Pursuit, Double Team, and Shockwave. I can't wait to get this thing fly. We have fly. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah, we can use it in battle. We can't use it outside of battle Yeah, like, like, we literally... Yeah, and Mulga was like, not a Mulga. <laughs> the Yoga was like, hey, yo, man, what's up? <laughs> Listen, I got this sweet new TM. <laughs> I can't learn fly. <laughs> I can't learn fly. <laughs> oh, damn. So how are we supposed to fly around with our team? HM slave. <laughs> we'll fucking catch up with Dove. Oh, man. How, ca how come a Molga can- Well, I guess it makes sense. It's a fucking squirrel. It, it glides, not flies, I guess. But why have the fucking- It can learn acrobatics, so that's really cool. It's based off of a sugar glider. Is it? Yeah. Are those what they have? Look, I... look, look up a sugar glider. Alright. You're cute. Sugar. Wow, first search. <gasps> they're so cute! They're, they're really look cute. Look at them! Yep, they're super cute. They're, they're literally flying squirrels. And... <laughs> the, fir the first thing I see is like a TikTok and, it's a, and the caption reads, Why you sh- why well, you probably shouldn't get a sugar glider. <laughs> yeah. And it shows a cute photo. I'm like, what if I want them? I want to give them a hug. <laughs> yeah, you you can own them. I knew someone in middle school who owned one. Nice. Be careful. You're getting into fights. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta level this up. It's got a train, battle train, all aboard. We gotta level up anyways before the gym, right? Yeah. Depot uh, Agent Hank. The gym might take a little bit longer, because uh, the way the kind of gym works is that you're supposed to go through the first. Well, I don't th do you have to go through the first one actually? I'm trying to remember. Usually, the way I always did it was I went through the the first original gym to get to the end. They're like, actually, uh, Elisa doesn't uh, operate out of this building anymore. She operates at the building next door actually, and then you go beat up them. So we'll probably just do it like that in the next one. 
Okay. That way it kind of like flows together. Because I know I've been realizing the gym badge, like gym badges are like taking 15 minutes. <laughs> so yeah. Very easy. Oh, it dug. Dig dug. Hey, dig dug. <gasps> Yo, wait, you use dig, right? <laughs> Get my fucking Amoga out here. <laughs> I was thinking of that. I was wondering if you were gonna make that switch, but then uh, I was like, what do you have on your Amolga to hit this thing? Pursuit. <laughs> it can't hit me with ground type moves, at least. So wait, we're only weak against ice and rock. That's pretty good. Yeah. On the downside, Amolga doesn't learn that many good moves, but I wanted something different that would be a challenge of a character we would hate on our team. Like our Wubat in the last one. <laughs> yeah, poor Wubat. Yeah. That poor little guy, he didn't deserve any of the hate that I gave him. I mean, he, he did his best. I'll, I'll, give, him, I'll give him that, but Wubat's just not a very good Pokemon. Yeah. Crobat's, cool. Crobat's just like infinitely better. Yeah, well I, I always had a Sigilith on my team. And I was like, well, Wubat is, has the same typing and whatnot, and maybe I'll learn better moves. No. <laughs> sir, come back. So, sir, thank you. <laughs> when I ride my bike, do you think I look stronger? No, you look like a pathetic sack of shit. You know what I like about the bikers and whatnot? They'll, they'll, uh, they'll move around faster if you're running, and then be slow if you're walking, I guess the same speed if you're, uh... You're on the bike, so if you just hold down the B button, like you're gonna run, they just start going ape shit. <laughs> I'll see if I can pull them. Like, there's another biker at the, uh, in the corner up there, we'll do that. See, we'll just take one of these and, and use it as an HM slave. Aww. <laughs> just cancelled your rollout train. My train has abruptly stopped at the station. Insert train pun. Choo choo! <laughs> the cool breeze in my face stopped, and so did my bike! I think this other. I think these guys over here are a double battle. Yeah, they are. Okay, tomorrow will be a home run! Baseball and Pokemon battles are dramas that don't need scripts. We should do some Pokemon Studios sometime. No! <laughs> Scraggy and Scraggy. I was thinking about putting Scraggy on the team, but then I'm like, oh, I don't want to, because we have a we have a fighting tip ready. Yeah. But actually, Scraggy would have been pretty good in this, because uh, it doesn't have the fairy weakness. Yeah, because it's four times weak to fairy. Yeah, because it's yeah, because it's dark and fighting. I always struggled against this thing when I was younger because I never understood like what po like what to use against it. <laughs> so I'm like, wait, it's it's fighting, but I can use psychic on it. What the? F <laughs> yeah, as a kid, like immunities were like the hardest thing for me to figure. out. Why do you use Brick Break on Pig Knight? I don't know. Cause that one was using Brick Break on the Herdier and killed it with a critical <laughs> hit. <laughs> it has Moxie, by the way. <laughs> You're about to wipe the two Scraggies. No, that's crazy. I would never. I'll use a uh, Razor Leaf, right? I have that right. Yeah, I do. Go Apple. I didn't kill the one that has Moxie. Nope. Don't worry. I just slapped him in the face and it fell over. <laughs> Get Force Pulled. Beautiful! We lost, so to walk it off. Farewell, you won! Sweet, I got a thousand dollars. Dude, we're about to get to the best part of, like, is, like, Driftdale City. Because I love the little marketplace that's in there. All the little shops and whatnot. Yeah, you know, that's where you get Moo Moo Milk. And then we get the stock pile on Moo Moo Milk. <laughs> is it, isn't Driftdale the one that also goes... I, it's the music that everyone uses. For the for the fucking toothless meme? Yeah. 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 
I always, I always thought it was funny as shit that, like, people ragged on Gen 5 for, like, they hated it, because, like, oh, no new, no old Pokemon, these new Pokemon suck, they're these stupid designs, and then they're, like, using the music in other videos, I'm like, how are you gonna sit there and tell me Gen 5 sucks and keep using the music from there? Pick a, pick a lane, pick a struggle. <laughs> well, a game can suck and the music can be really good. Yeah, but if you like hate- Like MapleStory. They, they, they like they like have 10 out of 10 background music in Maple Story, but everything Here else is, is dog crap. Here it is, Miss Lady. What about her? So, see how you then press the, <laughs> the big button? <laughs> and now she's running, and then she's going up, and then she's going to <laughs> That's kind of funny. I didn't realize if you weren't moving, they just go like that. Yeah, same thing with the uh, the bikers, like the people on the motorcycles. If you do the same thing, they'll do it. Like, just press the B button, like you're gonna run, and they'll start speeding up. Cyclist, Krista? <gasps> Get a look at my shot it! It'd be cool to use a Skullipede for a playthrough. Oh, that would've been cool. It's not a trade evolution, is it? No, they can fully evolve in this. Why do all these middle stages always use freaking protect? That's all they do, man. I mean, th I mean, this thing is built like a shell gun right now. Yeah, it's all shell gun. Shell gun, like kind of like one eye. No, it has, a, it has two pairs, but it's like a shell, and then it catches like a yeah. freaking. Oh, is that gonna hurt? No, I'm fine. I say it's like a critical hit. <laughs> Problems build different, that's all. Yes, build different. Yeah. I'm realizing we don't have a ground type on our team. So we're gonna actually have to try <laughs> at the uh, at the gym. <laughs> what ground type are we gonna get? I didn't plan on it. You didn't plan on getting a ground type at all? I didn't plan on that. The other one's Frillish, and then the other one is the uh, the psychic type. Or the Bella Bella gym? Belgium. You know, you know what would be a cool Pokemon to get instead. What? Golurk. I think that one's locked, huh? Is it? The, the I, th ground... I, th I thought it was in the tower at like a really low chance. What the ground ghost? Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, dragon, that Dra dragon spiral tower. We don't have access to that until post game. Isn't it Victory Road in this game? Is it? Check. But if it's on Victory Road, we won't be able to get it for like a, a while. That'd be a cool Pokemon to use. It would be, I never used one. No, wait, didn't we get one in the, um... Didn't we get one in the Nuzlocke? I think so, but I don't think we that can That was a while, yeah, I think I killed that thing off. <laughs> wait, um, look up its, um, its other form. Yeah, it's in Dragon Spiral Tower and Victory Road. Damn. Wait, what about this little baby form? Oh, yeah, Golette. Golette. Oh, I can't use the same move oh. twice in a row? In in White 2 and Black 2, you only get Golurk. Damn. And it's in Victory Road. Damn. Because my main plan was to use, uh, like, a Temple, because it's water ground and I've never used one in a playthrough before, but it's locked, it, the whole line is locked behind post game. it's impossible. So unless we want to cheat the system and just give myself a level one type pull for the team, because hmm. literally the only way to get it is post game, and it's you getting like a pallet toad or a semi toad through like rippling water. Because I looked, they're like, there's no way that they introduce a Pokemon to Unova and you can't get it till post game, and they're like, mm, yeah, we did, <laughs> you did. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you, you can use the psychic uh, psychic type if you want to. Yeah. Well, that's why we gotta. Well, that's why I put Frillish on the team. I was like, well, it's the only water type that seems like a good choice. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just... really want the ground type. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we can discuss it afterwards and see if it's a good decision of us bringing in like a temple. But we'll put it in at level one with like the the shitty egg moves. <laughs> the. Uh... Oh, what the fuck. <laughs> Just having a ground type is usually a good thing. Yeah. Well, I wanted I wanted the whole water water ground only when he gets grass thing going on. 
Well, we'll talk about it. Maybe in the next one you'll see the little Tim Cole on the screen. Uh, we don't we don't need to cheat it in. We can we can rock without it. Are you sure? Yeah. Get my ass kicked. Maybe it uses super, maybe it uses super thing again. I think it sees the kill and it wants to murder me. Hey, at least with Leo, it might get static. That's true. Is there other ground space that we can possibly put on the team? I mean, we're gonna use sand out. We can't use sand out again. Yeah, I'll look it up. Yeah. I mean, we can honestly still use Frillick, because that's gonna be water ghost, and I feel like that'll be useful. It, it did. It, it used to. Okay. Okay. Non-Gen 5 Pokemon if you wanted, so we can get a Trampish. I mean... <laughs> it was- it was cut in the last one, so might as well use it in the- <laughs> in this one. Yeah, we could, uh, because we don't have a Dragon type. Yeah, we never- What time are we at? <laughs> we can go back to the desert resort and go catch one! <laughs> we have to go find one first. Yeah, it's like, um... Uh... Another like option. Five percent chance encounter. Another option we could do, but you used it for one of your playthroughs. It's just Drover. Yeah, but that wasn't on screen. Yeah, it was. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. No, that was just like me normally playing the game, <laughs> like on my own little little save file cartridge thing. So we could all honestly use Drover. Yeah, cause. But well, we just gotta go to Castilia Sewers, go in the Raleigh Passage, and look for, um, some cloud dust. Yeah. Depends on- depends on what you- Are those really the only two Pokémon that we can get that are Gen 5? Well, I mean, there's Sandile. Yeah, I, well, we already- <laughs> we already used a Sandile on screen, but we never use a Drillbur on screen. Yeah, there's Gola, there's Stunfisk. We- we have Leo! <laughs> yeah. And both of those Pokemon can't learn fly. I like that. Do you want to use? Can Flygon learn fly? I can, right? Because it. I'm pretty. Do we want I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I mean, can. I mean, uh, Trampish was cut from the team on Emerald due to last minute changes and whatnot. So if it can learn fly, we can just add it to the team. We'll just have a bunch of Gen Five little babies and then just a Trampish. <laughs> Be like, hey guys, I, I didn't make the cut in the last one, but I needed this one. I hope that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, level up? Not level up. It can learn fly. Alright, we're gonna go get a tramp. <laughs> I, th I thought it could, get, based on the name Flygon, but... Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> what is your dream? You wanna collect unique items? Yeah, sure. I wanna hear these motherfuckers go or 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 Long is I got Freddy Fazbear or 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 I was I was not expecting that honestly. Poor Lord fucking Anyone else coming in? There's a small child! Fuck you! Alright, uh what do you wanna do? Uh no, because we already have a guy like that. Uh recommend! Why don't you go shopping? Uh, go look at some fucking antiques so you're an old lady. Fuck <laughs> 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 you! Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god, the popularity skyrocketed. Hell yeah. I'm not even gonna bother checking that dude, because if I learned anything from the other ones, it's uh... <laughs> You're gonna get fucking hard stones for a while. Alright, Trampish it is! We have to go find him, he's a very low chance to find. 5% chance. At least we can just keep running, like, run around, just run. So, hold on. Let me put a fast Pokemon in. We get any, he's pretty fast, and also it's grass. Yeah. We can, we can do some pretty cool things with Flygon. We can, like, set up sandstorms. We can go fast. We can 
munch things and fly around and be a I love, be a I love Trapinch. Trapinch is a, he's, oh, he's a chompy boy. You want to go find him? Yeah, I'll go find him on the first try. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's a little Dwebble. Dwebble um, is a really cute Pokemon too. I mean, he is really cute. I, he's, I, he's a little hermit crab. I knew I wanted a bug for this playthrough because I never used bug type Pokemon, but I was like, I think Danny's pretty good. And we gave it like somewhat of a short staff and we did it in the Nuzlocke and it got murdered, I think. So I was like, you know, might as well give it a second chance. Yeah. Also, I never knew that Dwebble's little dot on its, on its face was its mouth. Yeah. I, I never knew that. What did you think it was? I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> I thought it was... <laughs> yeah, it's his, it's his little mouth. He's a little, he's a little hermit crab. I didn't know it was his mouth. I thought like it was some weird little like nose. <laughs> Clearly he is very... He's very interested in I didn't know he was making a pog face at me this entire time. You see, you see him blinking? Yeah. I was gonna say you could just one-shot him to get some XP, but he's only weak against steel, water, and rock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the trappage. This is the trappage? <laughs> you might want to move from this. Dang, that's a weird-that's a weird-looking trappage. Yeah, you just name it Trampish. <laughs> You're like, damn. <laughs> Lower looking guy. <laughs> you get a crustle and I'm like, yeah, this flygon's got a weird ass boulder on his bag, but you know, it's still working pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, I was watching someone do like a nuzlocke. Um, mm -hmm. and then they, they would like battle each other. Look at him. Aww. Uh, they would like battle each other sometimes. Oh, and you're and like, he got this in on Mewtwo? Yeah, he's, he, was, he, was like, he was like, oh my gosh, I caught a Mewtwo, and he named it Mewtwo, and it was <laughs> Magikarp. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the other guy was like, oh my gosh, it is Mewtwo, and it just pops out, and he's like, he's like, that's a weird looking Mewtwo. <laughs> oh my god, that's my my favorite meme is like kind of along those lines of like this guy, like he's streaming or whatnot, and he looks up a like, Drake Bell, and he's like, "Wait, how old is Josh?" And he looks like Josh Bell, and then a, like this uh, black American baseball star pops up. He's like, "The fuck happened to Josh? <laughs> how the fuck are you listening before? Like, have we even found the Trampish normally?" I don't think so. Yeah, oh, damn. Let me just double check that he's, it is he's here. A rare, he's a rare boy. Yeah, I know. I think he's 5% chance. Deserved. Deserved. Deserves to be rare. You visit often. Like, they knew me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, 5% chance. We'll hit him eventually. It only takes 20 tries on average. Except I'm luckier than that. It's gonna be this next one. Right here. I'm waiting. Man, that's a weird looking trampish. <laughs> well, it's it, it, wrong, Chompy boy. Yeah. What? What is? I, I love. I love his little. Ta look at his little tail. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's got intimidating. <laughs> Three things of cutscenes. <laughs> he's very intimidating. <laughs> look at his little. I love in Legends of Arceus how he's. Uh, or not Legends of Arceus. What, uh, Scarlet and Violet? Yeah, Scarlet and Violet, how he's in the desert and he like yeah, yeah. Po he pokes his eyes out. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, like the first time I saw it, I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and then I see him running around. I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, it's a sand dial. <laughs> it's, and then I caught one. <laughs> Did you use it? I think so. Actually no, I think I think I used all new Pokemon. Yeah, I, always, I, I had my hands full with uh, with Dox Bun. Yeah, I always try to use new Pokemon when I uh, when I play a new game. Dox Bun was my was my chompy boy. If yeah. Dox Bun is in uh, is in the new game, whatever it's called, Legends of what Legend Z A. Yeah, if 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 Dox Bun is in that game, I'm catching him and using him because mm -hmm. Dox Bun's a cutie. Darkstone's one of my favorite Pokemon. How, how, could, how could I not? How could I not love it? It's it's a it's a wiener dog. And it's a it's a, it's a play it's a play on bun a play on like a bun. <laughs> What's the other thing? Do you think they'll have cool regional forms in this one? Like, what Pokemon think, do you think they're gonna turn to a regional form? It's probably gonna be a regional fucking Pikachu. I mean, they didn't do that in the first Legend game. They did it in Sun and Moon. 
Yeah. The first time that they did regional forms. Yeah, but that was a Raichu, and it was it was actually pretty cool. It was Psychic, Psychic uh, Electric. Yeah. I mean, a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon got regional forms. I mean, Rattatat did, Golem, uh, the Dunk Trio line just got blonde hair and steel type. <laughs> yeah. Which kind of implies that its hair just makes it a steel type. <laughs> Yeah, it gets, it gets luscious locks and becomes a steel type. Yeah. Executor turned into a palm tree. Oh, yeah, that's right. A lot of, did they just do exclusively Gen 1 Pokemon when they uh, made original forms? Mm, let's see here. Sandshrew, Vulpix. Uh, oh, yeah, Vulpix is Gen 1. Executor. Uh, Raichu. Yeah, I think, I Damn, think so. Damn, okay. I know that was the the thing with Gen 8 when they made like these um the di uh like the Gigantamax forms. They only did Pokemon from Gen 1 and Gen 8. The only accepted is Gardevoir. Not Gardevoir, sorry. Um the fucking trash Pokemon. Garbodor. Garbodor, that's right. And they, it's a little big pile of trash, and that is the only exception to the rule that they had. <laughs> they um I think the Galar Forms as well. I think. Galar yeah, forms had Ponita, uh, uh, Farfetch. Yeah, Farfetch. It, that one was one. Was Farfetch Gen One? Yeah. Oh shit. There was Weezing as well. Also, look at look at the time chain. Oh my goodness, we've been here for so long. <laughs> oh yeah, because it just hit seven. That's when the the clocks do that. Uh, what was I gonna look at? Oh, the Galar regional forms. Galar regional forms. I mean, it depends on whether you count, um... Oh, yeah, the Meowth. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, there was a regional uh, low one Meowth. Yeah. And I had a, like, an evolved form with it. Can I just see, like, all images? Oh, wait, they had, um, they had a Gen 5 one. Oh, Right, the... The Dar Darmok... This dude. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Yeah, he was, a, he was an ice boy, and then his little, like, Zenmo was him turning, like, oh, ice they also, fire. Yeah, they also had, uh, so, Zigzagoon. Yo, was, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he turned into, like, a rock star. I forgot about that. And then, um, so Silpoke, that was after they did that. This thing has taken ten years to find. Yeah, it does not want to be found. Oh, here's all the, uh, here's every regional form ever made. You, you know what, while we're sitting here chatting, we're gonna take a quick pause and we'll be back once we find it. Yay! Holy shit, we found it! <laughs> Alright, please, quick ball. <laughs> this took forever to we find it. We found him. three Maractuses <laughs> And we found Sandshrew. <laughs> yeah. Found every other Pokemon besides him, which I guess makes sense. Yeah, I mean he's five percent chance. Well, this one's actually a she. Yay! Well, it's your favorite. You gotta name it yourself. An ant pit Pokemon. It makes an inescapable call pit and lies in wait at the bottom for prey to stumble upon down. Yeah, I think I think it sits in the sits in the sand. So it's like a bear trap. Yeah. Damn. I just <laughs> Emphasis on trappage. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when I got one in a Nuzlocke, I'm like, I think it was, I played Sword, I got it as a Nuzlocke, and uh, it was a boy, and I made it Trap, because I was like, oh, it's like a Trapish, so Trap, and then Elf was like, you do realize you named, you named the boy Trap, <laughs> like he's a, <laughs> like, he's presenting, like he's like a, you know what I mean, like a yes, Trap. Yes, I know, yes. <laughs> I know what a Trap is. You, you know, I'm not very articulate, alright. All right. Let's take, let's take a look at our trappage. You mean the goggles? Yeah. <gasps> Adam in nature. <laughs> that's plus attack and, and minus special attack, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. That's the per that's actually the perfect nature for it. <gasps> Arena trap prevents the foe from fleeing. Yeah. That, I think that prevents them from switching out, right? Yep. That's really good. So if she can't hit him, he can't leave. <laughs> this is a this is actually the perfect nature, and it looks like this thing has ridiculous attack IVs, because 51 attack seems a little high. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, and it's got bulldoze. Yeah, let's go! And we can reduce its speed. We're gonna have to put a rock-type move on him to deal with the Amolga. Yeah. Highly persistent. 
But we we got this now. Yeah, I need I need the goggles because because Flygon Fly has the fucking like big ass red yeah, eyes. Yeah, I always thought those things were just his eyes, but if you look in like older games, like not older games, the newer games with the three D model, you can see it has eyes underneath it. Yeah, I it's... always think that's so like weird. Now yeah. that I know that, I always thought the big thing red things were like eyes because I thought like since you know it used to be a bug, almost. <laughs> I think he. I think it. Pure ground type. I think it is a bug when it's Vibrava, isn't it? I don't know. Oh no, it, know it, it, no it does. It doesn't get the bug type, but it, it is a it, bug. It it's looks a, like a fucking. It's it turns a dragon into a dragonfly. Ha, <laughs> uh, dragonfly. Dragon, dragon, flying these dragons on your dragon. I think you're gonna have to sift these next couple of ones out. <laughs> I think so too. Right. I just wanted to go over here and stop. Right, right yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> So I guess I'll have everyone leveled up, and then the next one we'll go challenge Elisa. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We'll, yeah. Yeah, we'll get to we'll get to beat up people and Trap Inch will carry. Yep. Just make sure I think Trap Inch may or may not evolve while you're training. So. Uh, oh jeez. I thought he evolved late. Uh, it has. I mean, it has two evolutions. Yeah, I know, but I thought it evolved late. What am I fucking? Dino has two evolutions and it involves fucking Link. Okay, yeah, but that's Gen 5 Pokemon. That's yeah, Gen 3 Pokemon are a little different. Boy! Baba Booey. Bleh, fuck you. <laughs> er, er, er. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Yep, I'm very excited. Bye! Bye, -bye. <laughs>